why you're hanging around with him now. That's it. He's the brains. I'm just the muscle. <laughs> you mind if we push it? I want to get to the courthouse. Hey, muscle. You heard what the man said? Let's get him to the courthouse. What'd you say your name was? Well, you like that, didn't you? <laughs> Doesn't like letting us know what he thinks of us, huh? Well, I'm not too choked up about him either. Ah, uh -huh, Lieutenant, professional detachment, remember? Yeah, I remember. Well, you got out of the blocks pretty early this morning, didn't you? It wasn't too bad, really. 5 a.m. here, it's already 8 in the morning in Boston, 10 at night in Tokyo. Handled it all with the comforts of a bedside phone. A bedside phone? Yeah. Who's bed? No, no, huh? Come on, huh? Listen, I've been trying to get you since 7.30 this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking no. about? Okay, buddy boy, that's fine. He's really a charmer. So he asked for a favor. They all do. You know, Benji never asked for anything. Just gave. I guess stoolies come in all shapes and sizes, buddy boy. Just like cops. I know. I know. Rule one, you gotta keep your fists in your pockets and feelings out of the way. But I feel better. It's off my chest, okay? You got it off your chest? Yeah. I think I'd better get off my duff now, huh? That's her story. What's yours? Well, I don't know. I thought I picked up on something, but I'd have to know her better to be sure. You hold it right there. Now, you do your getting acquainted routines on your own time. Come on, will you? You can't hit it big by playing the odds, buddy boy. Well, you can waste a lot of energy and time bucking them, Mike. I've got the time, you've got the energy. <laughs> hey, easy! Right. Oh, swing by Tony's on the way back. Tony's, no, Mike. Come oh, on, come on, no. come on. They should pay you. All right, but I'm telling you, she did it, Steve. What's the proof? Like I said before, you've got the energy, I've got the I, time. I, I, he's thinking, look out. You still haven't got it, have you? What? Will you use some of that energy that you've got up there? I think they've got a good-looking future, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think your future's looking pretty good, too. What? Listen, I want to fill out that report myself. No, 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 I can no, do that. No, 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 I want the brass to know what you did up oh, there. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You know something? You are a romantic. You are a real romantic. What? Yeah. Well, just because I don't read those highfalutin books of yours from the Times Book of You doesn't mean I don't have feelings. You know what? What? When I look at the San Francisco skyline at night, I think it's beautiful. Oh, my. No, I really do. You know, and when I think there's poetry in Rick Berry's leap into the air, when he, when he dumps that ball into the basket, I really do, yeah. And when Bobby Bond gets up there and starts to swing at that ball, and then he hits that home run, well, I, I think that's music. I'll check it out while you uh, talk to Sarah. What's the matter? You afraid you're going to lose your good guy image if you shake her doorknob again? How you doing? Doing it. Hey, why don't you two dudes back off a little bit, okay? What's the matter? Are we troubling you? Yeah. You're <laughs> bugging me. 7371? Yeah. <laughs> Cal Pacific Airlines. How did you know that? Now, you're not going to pull those parlor tricks on me, too, are you? I called it yesterday. Why is that? Well, I had a little time saved up. I thought I'd take a little a vacation. vacation. Maybe. Behind my back. Well, it wouldn't be much of a vacation if I was with you. Go ahead. You want to go on a vacation? Go on a vacation. A blue aura. What? Madame Vasily, remember? She says it could have something to do with being cool. That's sort of calling the shots. Next, you'll be asking me what sign I was going All on. All right, forget about her. Around here first. Well, what's the matter? You don't believe me? No, no, it's not that. It's just that we're here. We're here, on, Mike. We're here. OK. Hey, come on, buddy boy. I get frostbite easy. Buddy boy, huh? She knows how to put a scene together. Well, maybe you could get her to decorate your apartment. I think it begins with an H. A what? I found this address book on the floor. The H's are missing. Maybe that's what they're hassling about. Oh, that's just great, Sherlock. That narrows it down to about, oh, I'd say, uh, 300 doctors. Hey. Police department. Unlimited calls, remember? Maybe you'll find it the first 200. I'll go out to the university and check on this uh, Barbara's mother. You got the keys? You said the name was Talmadge? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Unlimited calls, huh? Well, what would she be doing with a gun in a place like that? I'll leave that to you, buddy boy. <laughs> oh. Unlimited calls. Oh. Well, get his address. We'll pay Six him. 667 mission. <laughs> Thank you.
buck fifty for two cold hot dogs. <laughs> Check. Check. Mike, are you still on that shooting case? No. Oh, okay. Why? Well, the description of the old guy, it fits someone that just left a bomb in an office building down on Market Street. And I said the man wasn't dangerous. Bomb squad get there yet? Yeah, Jerry DeSantis, he's in charge. Shall we go? Come on. Don't move that, I'll be back. What, did you have a late night last night? Yeah. Who is she? Is that your neighbor? What neighbor? What neighbor? The brunette, the one who couldn't handle all the books. Man, isn't there anything you don't file away in that computer of yours? And what's she like? Oh, come on. Oh, now, you're going to clam up on me like those other two clowns, huh? That had to be the late night, huh? You're going to bring the wine. Sounds kind of serious. Are you ready? Oh, now, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. When they start handing you that home-cooked meal routine, that's the first step to marriage. Marriage? I just met the girl. What are you talking that's about, right. Mary? Well, let me tell you something. Times have changed and all that, huh? But let me tell you, women have it. When they start tossing that salad and making those fancy desserts look out, the only thing they're thinking about, marriage. <laughs> He's popping for wine at a dinner date. No, but you know, I'm really worried about you and that neighbor. <laughs> First thing you know, you're going to be coming to me and asking me to go out and uh, rent a tuxedo. I get the message. I get the message. Listen, you want to do anything else this afternoon? No, you can take off. I'll yell if anything breaks. You sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. And don't come in with half a head tomorrow. Try to get to bed early tonight. I try every night. All right, what happened to him? Well, he moved down to the marina and gave the sublet to Sydney. Sydney? That was a Sydney? Sydney who? Sydney Bruce. Sydney Bruce. Boy, I must say, things sure are changed. You know, when I was your age, anybody called Sydney had sideburns and was smoking a cigar. How long has she been there? A couple of three days? I think since Tuesday, yeah. So where are we going? Bryan Street? How with that lipstick on your face? What? What are you doing? Enough. What? Drop me off at the office, will you? 